Hello, and welcome to lecture three in a series of lectures on the Moodle lesson. I'm Jeff, and in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to add pages to a lesson. If you're viewing this video through the lesson on lessons, then you are here. So at the end of lecture two, I got to this point where I had an empty lesson set up. And so note that it gives me some options for what I want to add first. I can import questions, add a content page, a cluster, or a question page. So I've been talking about content pages and question pages, and that's what I'm going to do. If I had a whole lot of questions made up already and in a Word document, then I could say import using Aiken format, which you may have seen in a video that Jason did on quizzes. Uh, I may show you how to do that later, but that's an advanced technique, so I'm going to leave it aside. Clusters I will talk about in lecture four. So for now, I'm just going to build out part of this lesson by adding content pages and questions. And so I'm going to remind you, here is the map of this lesson. And I'm going to start off by building the page for the main menu, which is here on the map. So I'm going to go add a content page. So here I am in the page where I'm going to create this content page. It's going to be the main menu, and so I'm going to make that the title of the page. And I've already written the text for it, and I have it over here in another file so I can copy it. And I'm going to put the image of the main menu, the, the, sorry, the map, here to help students navigate. So this works just like adding images into anything else in Moodle. I'm going to click the Add Image button. And I'm actually going to adjust its size so it's not taking up too much screen real estate. And there it is. And that's it. That's all the content that I'm going to put onto this page. This is just text and an image which will be delivered to the user when they are looking at this page. Now, here is the main working part of a Moodle lesson. And this is where you're going to set up the links that lead to other pages. Now, at the moment, there are no other pages, so I can't really complete this. But I know what my other pages that this is going to link to are going to be called, and so I'm going to put those in. However, at the moment, you can see they'll be to this page, next page, which doesn't even exist yet, and so on. So the, the, the jumps, which are telling it what pages to jump to, will not work yet, and there's no way I can do that yet because the things that they need to jump to don't exist. So one thing to get used to in making these lessons is that it's iterative. You uh, need to set up your pages and you eventually have to revisit them to set the links correctly. And the one thing I am going to set up is um, a place to click to complete the lesson. You always need to have somewhere in the lesson that leads to this end of lesson link. I usually put it on my main menu, but a lot of the time you might want to, there, there might be a, a sort of pre-decided last page that a student would typically visit, and so it might make sense to put it there instead. Okay, so here I am back at the page that I started at, and it looks quite different. This is actually the same page where before it was offering me options for what to do first, right? It offered me importing questions, adding a content page, adding a cluster, adding a question. Um, but it looks quite different now. Now it's showing me the page I just made. Uh, it's very helpfully showing me the jumps from that page, although I'll note those jumps are wrong because the actual places the jumps need to go to don't exist yet. And it's offering me some actions over here. Um, 
And these actions are very similar to what you will have seen in some other tools. This little cog wheel is for editing the page, and I'm going to use that in a moment. Uh, the magnifying glass is for previewing it. Uh, this trash can is for deleting it. Uh, this is for duplicating it, which I'm going to use later on a different page. Uh, and this up down arrow is for moving it around. If I had a bunch of pages, I could reorder them. So this video is getting a little too long. A good target for videos in teaching is six minutes or so, and it's going to be way longer than that. So I'm splitting it, splitting it in two. Here's the new lesson map. Note that this will disagree with the lesson map that you saw earlier on in the lesson.